Steve, you've done this race ten times. You must you must be able to picture where they're going and how they're, you know. Not only have I done it ten times, I used to live in Peterborough. Of course. And so I used to come out here, these were like my regular training roads. If I wanted a good long training ride, I'd come this way. I wouldn't ride the gravel sectors, you know, yeah. normal training, but I would ride all the roads. So I know when you turn left, turn right, look <laughs> around. And Colin always does a great job in just subtly changing the race with different loops, different configurations of Ooston Village and it's, yeah. yeah. Well the old summer, what, okay, the summerberg has got the five stars. What, what is the actual worst sector for you? Is it Summerberg or? Anyone where you have bad luck. Yeah. Because you can How many do... times did you puncture then in that whole 10 years? Uh, loads. Oh. I've been in the front group quite a few times. Mm -hmm. I was front group going for the win. There was only 10 of us, nine of us, and I punctured on the saw game. Oh. When we used to just plummet straight down into Malcolm Mowbray. Yeah. And I was feeling very good. And the year after the same. But <sighs> it's one of those things. You know, it's bike racing, it's a cool mistress anyway, yeah. and that just adds in an extra element of <laughs> luck, spice, enjoyment, <laughs> you know, type two fun, I don't know, but you know, whatever you... And you've got a good strong team, yeah. first race in Britain as a, as a team, Yeah. Um, so you're looking forward to, to seeing how the boys do? Yeah, well, I said to my mechanic this morning, like, mm. it'll be weird him sat on the other side of the car. Because every race we've done as a team has been in Europe this year, so mm. that's quite strange in some ways, as we're a UK Conti team, but, yeah. you know, this, yes, yeah, a UK race, but look at the teams that are here, yeah. continental level, isn't it? So, you know, with the, with the UK elite teams, which, you know, they're always strong, you don't know what they're, what they're capable of doing, mm. which is nice, it's good. Um, but yeah, we've got a strong team. With Jack, You've Alex. got also got a lot of experience already. It's fresh in the head with the UCI races that you've been doing, like La Wild Lachure and the one in Netherlands and, yeah, know, and all that yeah. sort of stuff. And racing with 180 riders, that's got to help. Yeah, yeah. I think for them, it's it's not just another race. Obviously, it's the Rutland. It's a big race. You know, it's almost a classic race in UK circles. Yeah. But it's. Um, you know, for them, it's just going through the process of another race with 180 guys, you know, all trying to be at the front and at key points. So it's, yeah. you know, they're used to that fight, which unfortunately some of the other guys aren't, which that's, that's what makes it a little sketchy at times if you're too far back. Because everyone's fighting, fighting, fighting. Yeah. And sometimes they're fighting for the wrong reason. Fighting to be first into a, a corner, which, yes, it's important, but it, realistically has no significance. Not worth the risk. Yeah, exactly. And that's what I've said in, in a pre-race meeting last night, I had three key points, but one of the points was stay safe. Yeah. You know, that, that's more important. Yeah, because there's a lot of potholes out there and, yeah, and all yeah, sorts. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of water over them. Yeah, and you just don't want the unnecessary fight with, you know, some guy who may not be used to fighting in that way in a bike race, you know, because they're... You know, and rightly so, they're here, you know, they're here, all the riders are here on merit and, you know, it, they deserve to be racing. I'm not, I'm not saying that in any way, but some, they might not be used to rubbing shoulders with, with guys all the time, so yeah. you know, it can be a bit overwhelming. But, uh, no, we'll see. Um, so finally, do you think it's a, an early break job or do you think it's a matter of over such a long distance sitting in the group? taking the risk and saving the legs <laughs> well I had this <laughs> I do you do you try both well yeah we'll set a stall up for both mm. because you have to yeah because we don't want to be chasing um, but in all the years that the race has been run especially in the, the last so the last 10 years when this race has been a, a bigger race than it was in its pre, you know, when it first started the early break has never stayed away yeah only once as a, as a break that we went early, stayed away, and that's when I was in it. You know, huh. with Yanto as well, who's racing, <laughs> Dan Fleeman. Um, you know, and there obviously there was a lot of firepower in the break. The uh, in the bunch, some teams really screwed up that day. You know, Herity screwed up that day with JLT or Rafa as it was. <laughs> so it it because of the gravel sectors, and if you take the gravel sectors out of the race. Yeah. It's actually a really hard race. Yeah, there's a lot of bergs and two and a half thousand meters climbing in 180k. Yeah. So, because of that, it actually becomes an, an elimination race up the back. Yeah. And then ba adding bad luck, and there's only 20, 30 guys left. Yeah. So. so, I guess it's uh, 
to uh, saving the legs and, and avoiding the crashes. Basically, yeah. Staying safe. Yeah. Stay safe. And having fun. <laughs> Good luck to the boys. Cheers, lad.